information. In our personal story of the week, survival. By the age of 30, my next guest had it all. She had money, she had fame, and a glamorous career in the fashion world. Well, from the outside, she was the picture of perfection, but what the world didn't see was that she was in constant pain. At the age of 30, Mira had the bone density of an 80-year-old. You'd expect the worst, right? Well, Mira teamed up with Dr. Jason Kelton, and in just two years, she got back into tip-top health. And as a bonus, they kind of fell in love and get married. <laughs> so it kind of worked out for you. Yeah. Their story and the secrets to good health they uncovered are all revealed in their book, Naked Calories. And Mira and Jason join me now. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. All right, so how did you guys turn it around? I mean, you had severe bone thinning. I mean, and you do, you look fantastic. Thank you. I, you know, at the time, it was the most devastating thing that anyone had ever told me. I mean, right. I had no idea. I just had, you know, back aches. A lot of people just, you know, say, what's this from? You have no idea. I thought stilettos, you know, the first thing that comes right. to mind. Right, I'm wearing too many high heels. Exactly. Right. Well, I went in and they said, no, you have the bone density of an 80-year-old. And wow. it's not going to get any better. Right, so how did we fix it? We taught her about micronutrient sufficiency. So what we did, you know, food has two basic components. It has the calorie, which we all know, and then it has those micronutrients, which are, of course, our vitamins, minerals, and essential fatty acids that we all need in order to stay healthy. So what we basically did is teach Mira how to eat foods that are rich in micronutrients, and we were able to turn around her osteoporosis in two years. Right, so, so you were doing everything wrong. I mean, what, what <laughs> you were eating, you were eating like what they call like empty calories, right? All this food that's processed that doesn't have any nutrients. Exactly. So like, for example, for breakfast, I would always have a diet muffin because I wanted to be thin, thought that was more important than being healthy. Instead of a white refined flour, I'm eating eggs and I choose pastured eggs because pastured mm -hmm. eggs had three to six more times vitamin D and vitamin D is so important for the bones. Exactly. And then Greek yogurt, which I, you're a fan of as well. Absolutely. I live on it. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's great because it's going to get that gut flora to be really he healthy. So the good bacteria is going to make it so that your stomach can absorb the micronutrients throughout the day. Some natural berries and you want to make sure you buy those organic. Because those are in the list of the dirty dozen, right. and that's really important. Which is something you talk about. You guys talk about the clean 15 and the dirty dozen. That's one example, and we're going to have them listed on our website oh, so people can get you know the full list. But 15 things that are really good. 15 things, uh, well the dirty dozen like, are these, and those right. are things that are covered in pesticides which you don't want to buy regularly, you want to spend your money and buy organic. And the clean 15, you can save a little bit of money on those, because those are usually pesticide free. Exactly. Okay, let's move on to lunch. Because okay. so far, <laughs> this is like my breakfast, you got my breakfast nailed down. Let's go right to lunch, what do we have here? Well before, Mira used to eat a spinach salad with chicken on it. And a lot of people would think, that's pretty healthy, what's wrong with that? Well for people with osteoporosis or osteopenia, you want to realize that spinach has something called oxalic acid. Now, what that does is it binds to the calcium in, in the food and doesn't allow the body to absorb it. So we simply exchange that out for a nice green leafy lettuce and then instead of chicken, which isn't a bad choice either, we got a better choice, which is wild caught salmon. Salmon has omega-3s that you know everybody knows are so good for them and what a lot of people don't realize about omega-3 is it helps the body absorb calcium. So it's just one of those really healthy, I mean I try to get salmon at least twice a week. That's Absolutely. A and, I, and I notice it keeps me full and keeps me energized all day long. It it's really does healthy work. fat actually makes you feel like you're full, which exactly. is fantastic. Now, here's a snack. Now, you guys yes. have a snack here. I often go for nuts. Okay. Snack. Not too much, but I enjoy it. So what do we have here? For bone building, I choose pumpkin seeds because mm -hmm. of the magnesium levels, and they're really fantastic. And then I choose Vita Cocoa coconut water. And the coconut water is filled with potassium, and that's one of those things people just aren't getting enough of. So it's that's one of the few foods that you can just drink it down, and you're getting that potassium that's important for bones. Right. Yeah. I think people don't realize this. Bone building isn't just about calcium. It's about magnesium yeah, absolutely. as well. Absolutely. The D, the magnesium. Exactly. But let's move on to dinner because this is a, a dinner that you would eat now, right? What <laughs> do you used to eat? Oh, goodness. I used to eat a lot of Chinese takeout. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not the best choice. No. But what do we have here? Well, here we have grass-fed beef. So important to get the grass-fed because it has almost four times the amount of vitamin A that regular beef does. It's got calcium. It's got magnesium. It's got zinc. All these are bone-building nutrients. And then we have there the sweet potato and the asparagus. Now, these are on the clean 15. So this is where you can save the money when you go to the store and buy these conventionally. All right, Mira and Jason, thanks so much for oh. coming in. Oh, you thanks. look fantastic. You look, <laughs> like, you look like you're about 25 now. Oh, well, that's, that's great. I'll, that's take, like I'll that. keep that. Perfect. All right, now, of course, it takes dedication to transform your diet to make sure that every single calorie counts.